Hi, right, welcome guys back to the channel. Um, right now we're going to be doing a little bit something different here. So we have a little go kart with two different engines. One's a Brick Stratton engine, and then we have a uh, Predator Max Performance engine, which this one actually just needs a pull string. So I'm hoping I'm able to use it from the other one and swap it over to this one to test it and make sure it runs properly. But if not, we might have to get one. Um, for the looks of it, it looks like it's a slightly smaller. But um, this other engine actually is all intact compared to this one I already tore down. So we pulled the carb off, I cleaned that off. And then the fuel, I'm gonna be draining that and putting new gas in it as well. So um, this one, I got it back about a month ago. A kid gave it to me, so um, it didn't need the engine. So good thing I had these around just laying there so right now we're gonna go ahead and grind this out we're gonna be putting new plates on it for the engine because the engine sits so low and the chain has so much slack so hopefully um here shortly we'll start to do that do some cutting on the metal it's gonna be a short little fun video so if it's running today we're gonna go test this out at a property um i gotta give you a little bit more details on that part but um other than that guys let's go ahead and start measuring some stuff and making sure this is all nice and even how it needs to be so let's get to it guys this is the metal i'm going to be using for the go-kart we're going to just chop it up in pieces and i'm going to measure it out over here and see how much i'm going to need from there um, I'm gonna try this piece and not possibly the other piece because that one actually sits a little bit higher and I'm not sure What I'm gonna use yet. So here's the piece that he used And I'm gonna need something similar to that size. So that might actually be better for me if That's the case. So I might just use this one up Get it all welded and put it on here and um, Get it straight. So let's go ahead measure this out measure here and start sort of making this bracket here and uh let's get it welded up right there so we're gonna want to make sure this is all nice and centered with the engine uh crankshaft and your sprocket as well so let's see how it goes here let's cut this first here and tighten them all up real good and um i'm just gonna measure it out make sure it's nice and even there it is all mounted in place um i'm about to go ahead and start loading this and uh it's pretty even right where it sits there now so um there's a little bit of adjustments from side to side but i'm gonna have to notch this one out a little bit more so it can get some more play if i have to but other than that guys Let's go ahead and weld this thing up and I think we should be good right there. And um, I can still probably put um, a washer in between the engine and the bracket itself just to tighten it up a little bit, just in case if I need to. So I think that should be good right there where it sits. So let's go ahead and get this sorted. you have it it's tacked up still in place so let's go ahead pull the engine out and we're gonna weld the rest of over here we're gonna do a few passes like one here one in the middle one in the back all around here and um i think that should be it so let's go ahead and have that have it welded uh not too bad honestly so there's the welds that'll hold up so now let's go ahead wait for this to dry a little bit and i'm gonna or cool down a little bit i'm gonna actually clean it up and then get some paint on it so i can make it look decent so it doesn't rust away so um give it about five minutes or so 
and then I'll uh, get that ready and then engine all mounted up i had to put a couple pushers underneath um each bolt hole because it was sitting too low and there was too much slack on the chain so got that sorted out that's done let's go ahead and figure out this engine stuff and then the clutch stuff um this throttle cable is broken um i'm gonna have to rig something up on that but i can i can figure that out for sure and um we'll go from there but i'm gonna finish cleaning up the carb put it back on and put some fresh fuel in this and uh, make sure there's good spark. And I'm actually gonna be tearing down the, what do you call it? The flywheel to check the igniter and all that stuff. Make sure nothing's rusted or anything of that sort. Cause this engine was sitting outside for a bit. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that next. I only got one hand right now guys. So uh, bear with me. Head disconnect our wiring here for the safety switch. All right guys, as you can tell, This flywheel pretty rusted all around. So what we're going to be doing here is actually um, we're going to get one of our grinding wheels and we're going to be actually cleaning this up. Rust on a flywheel for a uh, magneto or whatever you want to call it, ignition coil. Um, that's going to cause a loss of spark. So make sure, always check it out if you have an sit, uh, engine sitting out for a while. I have another engine, which is that one right there. The flywheel was trusted, it wasn't starting. So um, I cleaned it off and it started right up after that. So we're gonna do the same to this one and get it all cleaned up. Guys, we gotta have it all cleaned up here. Um, that's pretty good. We're gonna have to worry about that spot in the middle. So let's go ahead and put this all back together the cover on and let's check the other engine and see if that pull start works on this one so here's this other engine we're going to try to see if that works for this one um i'm sure this engine works i'll just order a whole new pull string for this one as well just in case so let's gonna let's go ahead and pull this off and check if it fits on this uh predator one if it works it works so not i'm gonna have to order one for the predator or go down the road and see if they have one so Moment of truth, as you can tell, that's actually pretty clean compared to this one over here. Um, I think it might work. That line is up there. That line is up there. Let's go ahead, put that on. Let's see if it works. Right, guys, so it does work with a Predator, so keep that in mind. Hell yeah. So now. Let's go ahead and check for spark and all that stuff as well while we're here. So, well, actually, let me just put the car back in and then spray it down with some brake cleaner and see if we have spark. And I am going to need a plug, and I think I'll take the spare one home. But if not, I think the other engine might have one. I'll clean this one up and verify that. Yep, it has one. So, order that, clean it up, and um, go from there. So guys, so I got some fuel in it. It starts up now, thank God. Um, I'm going to have to fix the seat before I drive it or something, or just send it, but who cares? Right now, I just finished chopping up this cable. I'm going to put this like that, give it a little bit of slack. The pedal's all the way up how it needs to be, and... Um, We'll see how it goes. So we're just gonna tie it down straight to the back of this adjuster right there. And uh, we're gonna send it, dude. We're gonna send it and see what happens. But I think we should be good to go. Let's do that real quick. But here it is running now.
guys so and here's the go-kart um we did do a few things that didn't show in the video but we put some go-kart tires on here but what's going to happen with this is i'm going to do a live axle on this get rid of these big things because they were bending it was popping off under throttle but now we're going to get rid of that do the whole ringer in on this and then add a few things down and once it's all 100 percent perfect i'm gonna tear it apart and um clean this up really good and repaint the whole thing and go from there but this one we're going to be building as well so that's going to be ha having a 13 and a half horsepower with live axle in it and then other than that i don't think we're going to do much on this one and we're going to be putting a go-kart body on this one or that one one of those two so besides that let's get out of here see you on the next video <laughs> 